Hello vacuum cleaner appreciators on this video Sunday. How are you? So, another Birmingham vacuum. I wasn't expecting this and I think it was a last minute decision from day up to give it to me, but it is a DC-16 animal. Look, it's got the electronic little turbo brush on it, which is quite good. That's quite funky. I'm not going to see this on my phone because it's it, it's it's quite faded anyway. But it's a six watt power supply. So it's six watt motor in this, sixteen point two volts DC, and it clips on and runs off the machine. So if I turn it on. set the world on fire with its grooming abilities but it, it's pretty cool but it's quite cool it's good to do very even was playing dens this morning before she went out so yeah that's not too bad that's, that's pretty funky actually and obviously being that means it's got a power supply that runs somewhere through all of this. And then there's two extra little prongs there that connect with two extra little prongs here. Have a look at the filter. Very clean under there. Very clean indeed. There's the rating plate, 200 watts, 21.6 volts. It even has a genuine Dyson battery on it. This is quite cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with this. It's it's something fun that I've not had before. Obviously, I've got a normal DC-16. But I've not had an animal. Even the charger is here. That's the part that you bolt it to the wall with. And there's the power brick. So there we go, a DC-16 animal, and that means that I can directly compare it to my normal DC-16. doesn't even say DC-16 on it, look, it just says Dyson. So if I take off the tool adapter and the crevice tool that we use on it, here is mine, you've probably seen this before, here is the eBay battery, I dropped it. Or well, it got dropped a few months ago, so it's got to be held together with tape now, but it works all right. Obviously, it hasn't got the power connectors or any place for them to go. I don't think this was even thought of when mine was made, because although mine's 200 watts as well, it's quite different in a lot of ways. If we compare the two, look, mine's 287, that's 450. That's the same. Both mines have been machines, but yeah. Mine is obviously quite a lot older. And they both sound different as well, I think. Because here's mine. And here's the animal. Mine sounds like it's running faster. We need to have put this quite dirty filter in, say mine. Mine sounds a lot different. This, the animal sounds lower, but the suction's the same, so I think they must have just, it, it probably is so different that it's probably got a different generation of digital motor in it. And I think all the parts are interchangeable. Yes, yeah, so my normal head fits on here. It works well. However, I'm not sure if the animal head, animal cyclone will fit on the normal one just because no, those power connections look, are hitting the, the casing there. So, which makes sense, let's be honest. The other differences are obviously a silver catch and a blue catch. They'll be a different colour because that's all that ever 
differentiates the animals from normals. So we'll pop this on there. There we go. And we'll pop mine back on there. There we go. See, I quite like our DC-16. Obviously, it's not going to set the world on fire. It won't make it warm. It won't even make you feel slightly excited. But they are nice little dust busters. As long as you appreciate that that is all they are. We use ours for... But ours is probably full of Cheerios, look. Because that's what Charlie had for breakfast this morning. And got it all over himself. In fact, now I use this one. I think I've emptied it. It's usually full of Cheerios, anyway. We just use it to hoover up all the food bits that the kids drop. And Amy runs around with it very quickly and just points it at dirt. And it's excellent for that. Truly excellent. Obviously, don't buy one if you want to do your car really well or your house. But if you put it up for 20 quid, they're an excellent little dust buster. Here are the charging stations, and I've noticed with this that there is a difference. My one has a plus. That one doesn't. Oh, ignore that bit, because my one can take that as well. That's just the part that bolts it to the wall. They're identical, however the plugs aren't. There's my plug, here's the one from the animal. Both genuine Dyson. However, my one says Dyson on it. This one says Xing, so this is obviously a cheaper, more Chinese one. Than that, even though they're both made in China, that one's a bit more blatant about it. Both 400 milliamp hours, 28 volts. Yeah, they're identical. But one's a bit more Chinese and one isn't. But they both work in each other. I've tried them both. Yeah. Let's see if we can take the bus roll out of this. I'm not going to strip it fully apart yet. I will do one day. Just to see how it works. If I find my circuit pliers, which I find excellent. These are my circuit pliers. They're not that great for most circuits, but they are very handy for opening stuff like this. You can leave the jaws wide and it turns. Go. So here's a little brush roll. It, it it feels quite soft when it's not in the when it's not moving. When it's moving, it's actually quite good. There's a lot of hair on there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out. Let's pop this down. I don't know if that will come out without me stripping the whole thing down. Quite difficult to turn when it's off so that might run a bit better still even though it runs okay now once all that's taken out I can't get it out it's deep in the assembly but it'll probably come out with a nice strip down and the clean up so we'll put the brush roll back in until it does something come on Let's put this in first. There we go. That has to mesh in with the cog on that side. And this should be a bit easier. i just get in. If I give it a little tweak past its lock. There we go. Check it still works. And this is quite interesting because this starts before the main motor. If I blip it. If you stop it, it doesn't like it, and you have to be careful, but it takes a lot of effort to stop it, it's quite good. So, I'm very pleased with that, thank you very much Taya, wasn't expecting that. The DC-16 Animal, normal tools fit on it as well, I'll probably keep this, find something to do with this one, which works fine, I might see if Amy's mum wants it, or something to clean up after her dog, again, just 
pointing at the stuff and sucking bits up. So, thank you very much for watching and goodbye from me and goodbye from my DC-16 animal. Bye-bye.